called division by zero. If you look at the Ten Commandments of Mathematics, I believe it is number one. Thou shalt not divide by zero. You are not, ladies and gentlemen, you are not allowed to get a zero on the bottom of a fraction. Okay. Yeah. If you really want to know why, here, but let's just let's just look at this here, because a fraction is a division problem. Look at look at what happens here. Twelve divided by three equals what? Four. Because division is nothing more than backwards multiplication. In other words, twelve divided by three is three times four equals twelve, right? Well, if you stick a 0 down there, if I put 12 divided by 0 equals what? You are asking somebody 0 times what number gives you 12. And it can't be done, because 0 times anything is always 0. You can have 0 divided by 0, by the way. That, that is possible, because actually there's no solution. It's, it's all possible answers. But you can never have a real number divided by zero, because you can't do it. Now, with that being said, is there a knock? Is that somebody just knocking? Wake up, Jervis. We're looking here. Okay, with that being said, sometimes it's not easy or obvious what you're going to get at the bottom. For example, um, here's the deal. Let's see, where is it at? Uh, if you have this. 12 over x plus 2. They're going to ask you to state the excluded values, which means what can't you get, what cannot x be that would give you a 0 on the bottom? Now, don't say 0 because x could be 0 because 0 plus 2 gives you a 2 on the bottom, and you could do that. You need to know x plus, what number plus 2 would give you 0 there? Logan, it is? Right, so x, you'd write it like this, x cannot be negative 2. Because if you put a negative 2 in there, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, you get something that is undefined you can't do. Now what if it was really hard? What if it was, the problem was this, what if it was <coughs> 17 over 3x minus 5? What cannot x be? Well, fortunately, you are eighth graders here. If you don't know, you just have to set equal to 0, which means take this 3x minus 5 and say, when will x be 0? Make an equation out of it. Solve it for x, and that's what x can't be, because if you put that in for x, you get 0. How would I solve this? I would add 5, add 5, divide by 3, divide by 3. You cannot let x be 5 thirds, because if I put 5 thirds in for x here, I'm going to get 0. You say prove that. I will prove that. 3 times 5 thirds minus 5. What do I get if I do that problem? Well, the 3's cross off. 5 minus 5 is 0, and you can't have that. So x cannot equal 5 thirds. The problem we had for today that you didn't do, what problem was that? 15 asked, you said, in the following expression, what number cannot be substituted for x? Well, that one's a little easier to do that in your head. But 2x minus 6, when will that be equal to 0? Add 6, add 6, divide by 2, divide by 2. X cannot equal 3, because if you put a 3 in for them, you get 0 on the bottom, and it cannot happen. Isn't that like probably one of the most exciting things you'll ever learn? Um, well, here, let me see if the sheet has some stuff on it. It's really a pretty simple concept. Thou shalt not divide by 0 is, by the way, please make sure you're here tomorrow. Tomorrow, 
Always serve the sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent. Oh, no. uh, Tomorrow, you will figure out just a small smattering of what the trick is out. More so than what you've already learned. Look at the practice and see if you understand this here thing here. We're going to answer the practice problems, or some of them, right? Really. For example, practice letter D. What cannot X be for problem letter D? It's too easy to think about. Zero. Zero, correct. Letter E, what can't X be, Bellanuzo? No, you can take 1 minus 3 to get a negative 2. Letter E, what number when you subtract 3 from it will give you 0? 2 minus 3 is negative 1. What number if you subtract 3 from it gives you 0? 3, yes, 3. Letter F, Brian Connor, 2 times what number would give you 0? 0. So W could not be 0. G gets a little more complicated. Maggie Dervis, what could not Y be there? What's that? 4, because 2 times 4 would give you 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. Oh, letter H. Who thinks they can tackle H? If you have x squared minus 4, x squared minus 4, what would give you 0, David? Yeah, plus or minus 2. x could not equal either positive or a negative 2. Uh, letter I, C could not be. Zero. Am I on the right one? C. Perfect. All right. That means we can stop right there.